entire set includes 1,969 pieces, which is incidentally also the year that Apollo 11 landed on the moon, 1969. As you can see, the set includes three blue stands, which also come with the set, which allow you um, to display the rocket horizontally. That's also great for those of you who don't have a ridiculously huge shelf. Okay, now I'm going to take a closer look at the actual rocket. The rocket is almost, is almost perfectly one meter tall, and it has many great details on the outside. It's also very sturdy for its size. The first stage, just like the real one, includes five very detailed Rocketdyne F1 engines. There are also great details such as the printed pieces on the outside. For example, these USA printed pieces and the American flag above. There is also this great section created with 1x2 grilled pieces, which breaks up the texture. And there is even this fuel line on the outside. Moving on to the second stage. The second stage includes five highly detailed J2 rocket engines. Again, on the outside there are many details, like these printed pieces, or again these 1x2 grilled pieces. I think the transition between second and third stage was also done very well. This conical shape is difficult to recreate with Lego. You can also um, take off the launch escape system just like the real version and swap it out with the included um, actual capsule with a detailed print on it. Now let's separate the final third stage. The third stage has a single J2 engine which is also quite detailed and once again the outside of the rocket also has cool details like these um, little parts which break up the um, plain outside uh, the black and white color scheme. But now let's get to the fun part of the actual rocket, the thing you've all been waiting for. Just like with the real version, these fairing pieces split up revealing the actual lunar lander inside. Then you can perform a 180 degree turn with your command and service module and dock to the lunar lander and disconnect it from the third, third stage. Then, once you're at the moon, two of your three astronauts can transfer over into the lunar module and then be on their way to the surface. You can then deploy the landing gear and the eagle has landed. With the set also comes this cute little um, lunar surface vignette, which includes um, detailed astronauts with prints on their bodies. Those are actual little trophy pieces which got printed. The surface also includes this little piece, one by two tile, with an American flag printed onto it. Once you're done with your experiments, you can lift off with the ascent stage, dock again to the command module, go back into the capsule, and then ditch the ascent stage. Then you can be on your way back to Earth. Finally, once you um, re-enter Earth's atmosphere, you, you um, separate the capsule and splash down safely in the ocean. With the set also comes this cute little splashdown scene, which includes, includes, includes for, uh, floating devices for the actual capsule. Okay, um, that's my little feature of the rocket.